Hello friends, today we'll discuss about bilirubin formation, its fat and also about jaundice. Formation of bilirubin. Hemolysis causes macrophages to release bilirubin into the circulation. This bilirubin is known as free or unconjugated bilirubin. It is lipid soluble and in the plasma it is bound to albumin. So it is also known as protein conjugated bilirubin. Binding of bilirubin with albumin prevents its excretion by kidneys. Second step that is conjugation of bilirubin. This conjugated bilirubin is also known as colibilirubin. The unconjugated bilirubin which is bound to albumin. From circulation it is taken up by the liver cells, they are hepatocytes. In the hepatocytes they bind with hepatic protein ligandin. This ligandin bilirubin complex it prevents backflow of bilirubin into the circulation. Now in the hepatic cell, this bilirubin gets conjugated with uridin diphosphate glucuronic acid that is UDP glucuronic acid and this bilirubin is known as conjugated bilirubin. This conjugated bilirubin is water soluble and it can be excreted. In hepatic cells, the conjugation takes place in two steps. Number 1, bilirubin combines with UDP glucuronic acid in presence of the enzyme UDP glucuronyl transferase to form bilirubin monoglucuronide. This bilirubin monoglucuronide again combines with UDP glucuronic acid in presence of UDP glucuronyl transferase and it forms bilirubin diglucuronide. Now, this reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme glucuronyl transferase and this enzyme is present in the hepatic microsomes that is smooth endoplasmic reticulum of liver cells. Third stage is excretion of bilirubin. Now this conjugated bilirubin from the hepatic cell that is excreted into the bile and then it enters in the intestine. This is active process and it is rate limiting step in the bilirubin metabolism. Some of this bilirubin escapes into the general circulation and it is excreted by the kidneys in the urine as urine bilirubin. Fourth step that is formation and excretion of urobilinogen. Conjugated bilirubin enters in the intestine with the bile and it is degraded by intestinal bacteria which are present in the terminal ileum and large intestine. This bacteria they have enzyme beta glucuronidase and it splits off the glucuronide and converts bilirubin into urobilinogen also known as tracobilinogen which is a colorless compound. Now 20% of this urobilinogen from the intestine that is reabsorbed and it goes back through portal system to the liver and from liver some urobilinogen again escapes into the general circulation and some of the urobilinogen is re-excreted into the bile which is known as enterohepatic circulation you can see here in the diagram and only 5% of this urobilinogen that is filtered off by the kidneys and that is excreted in the urine. 80% of the stercobilinogen that is present in the intestine which is not absorbed that is excreted in the fecal matter and the amount varies from 20 to 250 mg per day. This stercobilinogen it is oxidized to form stercobilin and it gives brown color to the feces. Now, Bilirubin, normal serum bilirubin level that is about 0.5 mg per deciliter. The, it ranges from 0.2 to 0.8 mg per deciliter. Total serum bilirubin includes conjugated as well as unconjugated bilirubin. And we can find out conjugated and unconjugated bilirubin by Vandenberg's test. Vandenberg test is performed using diazo reagent which is the mixture of sulfonylic acid, hydrochloric acid and sodium nitrite. This test has two types. Direct Vandenberg reaction. Serum containing conjugated bilirubin which is water soluble. When we add diazo reagent to the serum, reddish brown coloration occur in 30 seconds. Whereas in indirect Vandenberg reaction, when serum containing unconjugated bilirubin which is water insoluble, 
and when we add diazo reagent to it, no color develops. But when we add some solvent like alcohol, which dissolves the unconjugated bilirubin, and it produces reddish brown color. Now, jaundice. What is jaundice? That is yellowish discoloration of skin and mucous membrane due to presence of increased bilirubin level. Normal bilirubin level that is 0.2 to 0.8 mg per deciliter. Clinically jaundice is detectable when plasma bilirubin exceeds 2 to 3 mg per deciliter. First site for clinical detection of jaundice is sclera because sclera has protein elastin which has extremely high affinity for bilirubin.